water up this tube here, but it can't get over the pump. And we found out a lot of people just went from here to there. And what was happening is the water was going over the top and had momentum. And then when you came to the brake, you couldn't get a clean brake. Now she's going full speed. You see it here? Okay. And then we came up with a design that this is roofing material. You can see the corrugated plastic here. It's in here. It's about three feet tall. And what it does is the water here has to go down, make the U-turn, and then come back up into the next layer. And then the next layer has to go all the way down and come out and make the U-turn. And then it comes through here. So then the next thing we have here is the siphon. So this is a two-inch siphon. It's in this tank. We're going to siphon the water over to this drum. If you put the pipe in there, and it's called unbreakable siphons, it has a, the pipe goes down to within two inches of the bottom of the tank, on this side and on that side. Okay? By the way, I do 45s wherever I possibly can. The restriction of a 90 is awesome. In a two-inch pipe, let's say you have a pump going, if you look to a two-inch 90, it's a foot and a half of resistance. So you go off and make another 90. So it turned out at our farm, we had a pump tank over by Lisa's horse stable, and we had a, a pump that said it would pump 2,000 gallons an hour. I was barely getting a thousand. I called up the company. She said, well, describe your run time. First, how long is it? 200 feet. She said, okay, let's go to base 163, and let's look it up. Let's run your finger down each and a half, two inch pipe. She said, yeah, yeah. Run it over to the right. It says, you have six foot of rise friction per 100 feet. So you have 12 feet ahead on that. And he said, oh, okay. He says, how many nineties do you have? I said, gee, all these water pumps come with the, you coming straight up. Then I make a 90, then I go to the ground, then I make a 90, and then you put a check valve, and then it goes off 200 feet. When it gets to the fish tank, there's a 90 going up, going over, and going up. He says, so that's six of them. Let's go to this other page, look down the resistance of fitting, a two inch 93 with a foot and a half. So you have nine feet of resistance. So nine and 12. Oh, this is not sounding good, right? Now let's go to look at your pump. Your pump's maximum head is 26 feet. Well, but at 5 feet, you get 2,000 gallons per hour. At 10 feet, you get you know, 1,500 gallons per hour. You, are, you, are less, you, know, you start getting less. The higher you go, the less you get, right? Yep. Guess what? He said, wow, you're getting 1,000. Your chart says you should only be getting about 700. So you're doing pretty good. And by the way, your air stops. Yeah. It stops when the air brake up there going to the left, coming down. And the water in here got to the bottom of that pipe there. It let the air in and it stopped. And it stopped right on the time. No barking, farting around. So, this, whatever container you have, come out on it, put a T, come up. This pipe will reflect the level of the water in there. Right? Okay? Keep coming over. I have a shutoff valve. I can shut it here if I want to. If I shut it here, I can just make this thing go all the way up. And you might say, oh, this pipe is going off over there. Let me show you what this one does. Let's just jump over here. Now that is a pipe siphon, and that is the design that was originated in all my gardens. Okay? You haven't seen a pipe siphon anywhere else on the internet. Oh, no. This is a bell siphon. This is what almost everybody does. And see, it comes up with the one inch and coming over here. And notice how it goes to two inch. That is because this thing is pumping so strong when we get one inch, when the water got down to the bottom one inch, it went. It kept sucking, like a vacuum, just kind of halfway in the water, right? And it wouldn't break. It would get stuck in low gear and not stop. But watch this. When I come up here, I'm going to raise it up right to the edge. Watch when the air comes in. She'll stop. Okay? And that, we had to go to two inch to get the stop action. And one inch, it would just whistle. It keeps sucking. And eventually, it would break, right? Now, the other thing is down at the bottom. Most people, Murray Allen, my, my mentor down in Australia, he teaches come out with a 90 degree piece of pipe, come over and put another 90 degree, and turn the 90 degree until you get that water line. That's where the bubbles would come down and they would come out. If you turn it too high, well, the bubbles can't go into water. They want to go to the surface, right? So you have to turn it to the sweet spot where the bubbles can get out and let the siphon start. The problem was it he had two 90s. And with the 290s, the restriction is it would start, but it wouldn't run fast. We found the cure is simply to put a 45. Okay? Now notice, I don't have a 90 there, I have a T. Two reasons for it. One is, 
the tea goes right to the bottom, it has a cap on it, but that is always full of water, wrapped in there. So watch, it'll start back up here. In a second. And that one is because in here there's a standpipe. See this one in standpipe here? This sets the start level. So where is that level? What's this thing controlling? Well, at all of gardens, we came up with things that we didn't realize what we were doing. In fact, we've had people come and say, do you realize what you've done? Well, I just have a site that it's a bell site. Lots of you have bell site. Yeah, but yours is remote. Virtually everybody else has this siphon in the garden that they're going to control. And that garden has to immediately flush back to the fish tank or to an open container. Ah, what we stumbled on because my property was sloped and everything, that we put ours as 55 gallon drums. And they can be 50, 100 feet away. Right? Frankly, they could be a mile away. It would make no difference. The water in this tank here is always going to reflect what that level is. So the water over there is being pumped over to here. It's filling up. And when it gets to this level here, come over here, here. Come around over here next to me. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. A little bit to your right. A little bit to your right. Go around the corner. Give me a little snack. Give me a little red in there. Come over here. Put your head down here. This is the one he's over for. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? And if you put your hand on top of it right now, the water will continue filling up. 